Seeing who comes in. Hi guys. My computer. That is very blown out. All right. Let's see. Please. These are those. We're getting the light going. Let's see, okay. I'm waiting for people to come in. Um, well, this is gonna be safe. So hi guys, my name is Alex and I am a crocheter. My um, shop is Shamer Originals, as you guys already know, cause you're already here. Um, I crochet, well, I don't only by myself. My mom and I do it, but I crochet plushies, blankets, scarves, beanies um and a variety of different things the shop started um partially just out of pure motivation i wanted to figure out how to do something artistic and creative and um something that was soothing so crochet um is artistic and creative and soothing for me and where i got my inspiration from was from my mom and then also from my grandmother who would do really pretty fine point or not fine point but like fine thread work um she'd create rosaries and doilies and a variety of different things that would just just they're just really pretty so uh this is one of the things she's made um or she made it's a like pot holder um which is really pretty and yeah so that's where that started and i started this shop really sorry about the alarm um really about two um weeks before christmas things happened at home where it was required so we just went on um and so blankets were created i started making corner to corner just because it was the easiest pattern for me to utilize and for me to read and do so this is one of them um, everything can be found at shamare.etsy.com. I will post that in the chat um, and link it. Let me do that now, just so that way everybody can go see it. Hello to who, to all of the people who are here. Um, double check, make sure that links. It doesn't look like it, so let me try that again. So yeah, it's been really nice learning how to do everything um, and figuring out how to crochet and just different things like that. So it's been really nice figuring out how to read patterns and figuring out how to create patterns um, and just different, just different things that make everything artistic. Hi, Shay. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited. Um, and here is this. So like I said, everything is everything for the most part that I'm showing you is available on my store. Um, I've pinned the correct link at the top. So feel free to take a look at that. Um, and then here is another blanket that or actually no, this is a shawl. Um, that is up on the shop. Um, it's very very nice. Hi. Um, and then another scarf. Actually, no. Blanket. Baby blankets. So, yeah. So, we focus mainly on baby blankets. Um, focus mainly on baby blankets and different things like that. Um, so, yeah. It's all very exciting. All very nice. Um, and different things like that. So. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's actually, it's been really nice. And yeah, let's see. All right, I'm responding to a message on Etsy. Um, but yeah, it's been really nice. And then I've been making bunnies lately because it's Easter. This is a really cute bunny. The pattern is by 
Um, it's a pattern I tested and it's by Joy. Um, she can be found on Instagram at the Joyful Weirdo. Um, and then that's another pattern. I don't know if you guys can see it. That one is there, this red one. I, there's my finger. Um, I just need to do the eyes and the nose and then it's done. But yeah, it's really nice. And most of the stuff that I make, at least stuffy wise, is made out of Bernat blanket yarn, um, which you can purchase at Joann's. Hi, Joann's. Um, and so this is a bunny pattern I am making. Um, I'm making two, actually. Thank you. Um, and these are really cute in the eyes. Um, and I'm just working on um, sewing, or not sewing, creating the ears for them and then sewing them on and then um, stuffing them with fiber fill. So a lot of, here's the fiber fill. You can buy it at like Michael's or Amazon or um, any of those places. And let me see, um, different things that I feel like I should make a disclaimer about. Plushies um, have plastic safety eyes um, and the fiber fill is made out of polyester. So if that is an issue for your, for the newborn or um, anything else, just send me a message on Etsy. And if you want, if the polyester fiber fill is fine, but you want embroidered eyes, totally fine. Like I said, just shoot me a message on Etsy and um, we can figure it out. What else? Um, also, I use velvet yarn for some things. Um, so I made, I recently made a little bunny for a friend of mine at work. I did embroidered eyes, but I used uh, velvet yarn. So I made this corner to corner blanket um, out of velvet. Um, as you can see, there's holes in it. But what's really nice about this and this material, and even with the holes, um, it's that you can um, still snuggle up with it. It's still warm and when the summer hits, yes, it's like a thicker material, but it's still, it'll still be nice to just relax with, even when it's hot outside. And then, um, let me see. We also have one in pink. Um, a friend of mine bought one. Uh, so Fiona, if you ever watch this, thank you. Uh, shouting people out. And then my friend Erica bought a blanket and my friend Caroline bought blankets. And like a bunch of people at work have bought stuff, so I'm appreciative to them. Um, and it's just, it's been enjoyable, um, really, to sell stuff. And then my favorite month for two reasons. It's a great month, and it's my birthday month. It's June, but the second reason besides it being a great month, it's Pride Month. So we also have a bunch of rainbow stuff. Um mainly this really pretty rainbow blanket on the shop. I think it's like a rainbow square fringe blanket because it's all fringy at the end. Um, and we have, I mean, we don't, ha I mean, we have this rainbow blanket. I just sold a, another rainbow blanket not too long ago. And so if you want rainbow stuff for pride, let me know, put it in the comments, uh, what items you would like to see for pride. Um, and stuff that you're interested in purchasing and I will make note of it and then create it and put it on the shop. Um, the patterns, um, yeah, so we've gone over velvet, we've done burnout blanket, that, uh, rainbow blanket was, is acrylic. So most of the yarn I have, um, is acrylic yarn, which personally I don't think is great for plushies because it makes everything smaller, but I've made plushies out of acrylic. Um, it's just not my personal choice. Um, and honestly, like one of my favorite things that gets made out of my house are filet crochet blankets and I don't have the patience for it. So that's why I personally like corner to corner a lot more because it's an easy workup and I like plushies too because they're easy to make up. But we have a filet crochet blanket. Um, there are two. So we have one that says that, so filet cro crochet blankets, both of these, by the way, are made out of acrylic yarn. Um, we can do a design or we can do um, 
text. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see this one, but this one says live, love, laugh. Oh yeah, you can see. Oh, it's upside down. Cool. Um, live, love, laugh. So you can see the text and whatnot in there. Um, and then, so there's the text. And then this one is a teddy bear. Now I just got to find the bear. Um, trying to see which way is up. Because that's where I fail. I can't see it. Um, but yeah, so we can do designs in it. Um, there it is. We can do designs in it. Um, or text, um, and if these come in, these can come in a variety of different colors. If you want it more than one color, it could be done. Um, if you want it in um, a solid color, that works best, but it's entirely up to you. Um, both of those are on the shop. Um, and yeah, so things that are upcoming for the shop and things that are coming up for the store. Um, like I said, Pride is coming, so I'm going to be focused a lot on, um, like, rainbow stuff. And um, basically, I'm going to be doing, um, I'm working on a cotton cardigan, which is going to be great because it's going to be light and airy and just something nice to just throw on when um, you need to run outside real quick and you don't want to, if you don't want the sun to, like, totally burn your shoulders. Um, and then we're going to, I have a lot of these like rainbow colored, well, not rainbow colored, but like variety of different things that will make up the rainbow uh, granny squares. Still haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, but yeah, this can also be made into a shawl or a cardigan. Um, a lot of people um, like to make cardigans. I've seen um out of granny squares because they're I mean granny squares are just really easy to make up and um it's just it's like the material it's acrylic so it's really nice um and it's soft and it's just texturally it's it makes me happy um and so yeah so that's kind of where we're at right now um and then we're going to be doing um just summary things, more blankets. Um, Cause even though when it's um, hot, you still want something to like throw over your legs and be comfortable and be, you know, just feel nice, I guess. Um, what else do I have? Yeah, we've got a bunch of different plushies um, coming. I'm working on a pattern to make a dolphin. Um, that's going to be exciting. It is up here. Well, I don't want to show it yet because I don't. I want it to be a surprise. Speaking of surprises, it was raining this morning where I live, and the one thing that I like so much about spring because, like, that's like my way of like, oh, spring is here. It's pouring rain on a random day are uh, flowers. And I've seen a shop that has made um, flowers that you, that they're selling at markets and uh, like where you do bouquets and stuff. And it's just, it's really nice to see it. Um, Cause it's, you know, if you're allergic to flowers, really, um, excuse the truck. Um, if, if you're allergic to flowers and you don't want to necessarily buy flowers, it's just nice to be able to, um, go out and, you know, have flowers that never die. Um, and so one of my favorite flowers are daisies and sunflowers. And there is this blanket, um, that I have, and here is the box it comes in. Um, that is ginormous. And it is all done in granny squares. So I don't know if you guys can see the flower, um, but they come in a variety. They come in, um, it's like a cream colored, like off white. 
um, color and then a really pretty pale, like yellow. I don't know if this is picking, if the camera's picking up the color the right way, but it's just, it's really pretty. Um, and this is like one of the ones that it's like, it's a heavy blanket, but I still feel like it's going to be great for, especially for the summer when like the temperature does drop a little bit and it's raining. Um, and this really is just like a perfect snuggle blanket to curl up with and read and just enjoy the rain outside and just be comfortable like just be in complete comfort and being comfortable. Um, so now I have to pull this back up. Let's see. But yeah, so far so good. Um, things are, you know, happening. Things are definitely happening. Um, and then if you don't want to, you know, snuggle it up with or snuggle up with it, um, at home and you have kids this is great to put this is great to put on anybody's bed but just the colors i think um it's really good for like a kid because it's soft and it's flowers and it's yellow and like a white and it's just i mean it's really pretty for anybody but it's the size i think it's better for like a kid's bed so put this back in the box. I'm not doing a very good job at folding it, but it'll go back in its box. Um, all right, let's see. What else? There was somebody else here, and then they left. Hi and bye, friend. Um, yeah, so let's see. Let's see. But yeah, I mean, if you're new to crocheting um, and you don't quite know where to start, um, I like I, I was taught by my mom and my grandma on how to crochet. And so there's a lot of things to work out. Um, trying to figure out hook size is always fun. Um, I saw something on the internet where it said if you have um, thick yarn, you go for a thicker hook. Or like the hook has to be thicker than the yarn, which does make sense, but it also just makes the stitches tighter. So this is the ear of the one of the bunnies, the bunnies that I was making, or I am making. And then um, let's see what else. I have so much yarn, but yeah, it's all been it's all been really nice. Um, let's see what else. Scarves, like I said, we have. This really pretty uh, corner to corner scarf. Um, again, acrylic yarn, super soft. Um, just good to just kind of like throw on um, around your neck um, or just kind of like have just like throw them over your shoulders if you know you're going to be out um, and it might be a little chilly. Um, and then we also have this um, granny square blanket I made. I think it's granny square. It looks like granny square. Um, perfect for the, uh, like for a baby and stuff like that. Um, do you sew regularly too? So I don't, personally, I don't like sewing. Um, I don't like it at all. Um, am I learning how to sew? Yes. Why? Because there are patterns for plushies I make that require sewing, um, but the dolphin pattern that I'm making, I am trying to figure out um, how to make it no sew. So, um, because I feel like when I'm done sewing, whatever I need to sew on, it looks like Frankenstein's monster, which isn't great for business. So I'm still practicing, I'm still learning all of these different things, but um, regularly, I try not to. Um, but I'm finding myself um, that I need to do that. I don't know. Um, is it? Sorry, guys. I just saw that it was still blurry. Is it still blurry? Oh, man. Okay. So I guess that's my internet. Um, and I don't want to change the internet. Um, 
Let me try something else. Let me see if I can switch to my phone, if that will make it look better. Hmm. I don't know. Also, hi, Rose. Um, there it is. I'm trying to figure Oh, so I should probably keep moving. Um, okay. Or is it, if I stay still, it clears up and then goes blurry. Somebody, somebody tell me. Um, again, more corner to corner blankets. Okay, so I have to stay still. Cool. So. Um, yeah, corner to corner blankets are great for babies. So if you know anybody who's having a baby needs a blanket, uh, come holler at me. Um, and thank you, Shay. Um, so yeah, it's actually, it's been, you know, a lot of fun trying to figure out different things, different patterns, trying to create things that people would enjoy. Um, it's been it's been a, it's been a time. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes. I'm trying a live today just to see if, you know, that helps anything. Um, so again, if you're popping in right now, um, please go to the link that's up top. That is my store. I'm selling blankets and plushies and, um, hats and yeah, Beanies, scarves, blankets, plushies, um, purses, which we haven't put on yet. Um, we're going to be selling bandanas for the summer, too. Um, really pretty. Again, I like flowers. So floral um, bandanas. I think I'm going to start with sunflowers because um, I like sunflowers and I just think that they're pretty. Um, and I just... It just brings me joy. Sunflowers do. And let's see. What else? What is there anything that you guys would want to see on the store that you would be interested in purchasing? Let me know. Um, because I'm willing to make, you know, pretty much anything. All right. So also, what is really nice is we have um, this guy. So babies need blankets. And there's babies who need to be christened. So we also make christening blankets, which is what this is. Um, just all of the patterns, you know, are just really pretty and just really nice and soft, which babies need. Um, again, acrylic yarn. Mostly we use acrylic, we mostly use um, Bernat or Giggles or Simply Soft, um, Karen or Caron, I don't know how to pronounce it, but just a variety of different, um, just a different yarn. It's actually really, it's a lot of fun. So let's see, what else, what else we got down here? Do I have any? But yeah, it's been fun. I enjoy crocheting. <laughs> Let's see. But yeah, if you've um favorited my sh if you favorite my shop you you should get an email saying um like thank you for favoriting um and you get a discount code for being a fake for liking my store and if you don't send me a message and i will send you the code um because i would like for you to purchase something um and being 
a fan of what I make. Um, makes me really happy and makes me feel like I'm doing something good. So, um, and I want you to enjoy what you're making and just, it's my way of saying thank you for supporting me. So what else do we have? What else do we got guys? <sighs> Shay, you need to buy something for your granny. That's what I've decided. You need to buy something for your granny or buy a blanket for your car or a plushie for your car that dangles from the window. That's what I've decided for you. Um, but yeah, and if there's a plushie, so if there's a plushie that you guys want that you don't see on my shop yet, um, let me know um, because I can make it. Um, and then I would just do a custom order for you. Um, and, you know, I just, I want you guys to enjoy what you have. And I want you guys to have things that you want. So if there's, like I said, so if there's not anything on the store that you want, but you want something um, to support me, um, just let me know. And like I said, we'll do a custom order and I'll just, we'll, you know, talk about the design, um, talk about the yarn and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a good time. So I think I'm going to stay on for another about five ish minutes. Um, so if you have, um, if you've stayed this long, um, go, um, I do have a promo code for you guys cause you're here this long, um, and you're supporting me by staying for almost half an hour. Um, if you are still here and you've watched it all this way, um, go to my store again, the link is at the top and hit and, um, put stuff in your cart and put in, um, you know, see what you want, figure it out and then put in the code at checkout virtual sale. Um, because you're going to get a discount on your whole order um and most of the things come with free shipping anyway so you don't need to worry about that but yeah let me double check to make sure that that's the correct code but yeah so yeah so let me know what you want um, if there's nothing on the shop that is interesting to you that you want to purchase, but you want to purchase something like it, let me know. Um, you can email me or message me on the shop. And then if you don't follow me on Instagram, you guys can follow me on Instagram at OG. And, you know, you'll, I'll post stuff there where you guys see it. Um, and then, you know, it'll link to my, it'll link to my store and you guys can, um, you know, get what you guys want. So all very fun, all very nice. Um, but yeah, Shay, if you want a plushie, let me know. Um, and we'll figure it out. It's so weird that it was, I have to sit still. Yeah, so virtual market, um, all one word, and then it'll be good for a week. Um, so you guys have a week to utilize it because um, you've made it this far. Um, again, my name is Alex. I crochet plushies, blankets, scarves, beanies, purses, bandanas, um, a variety of different things on Etsy, um, and I sell them on Etsy. So if that's something that's interesting to you, Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you get alerts to when I post new videos, new shorts. And make sure you guys check out my shop and follow me on Instagram. Thanks, guys.